Hi, welcome to the channel, Budget Order Review and Upgrades. Today I'll be talking you through how I clean this Rotel amplifier up. I'll do a review it another day. But just one of these amplifiers, you've got the vents on the top, and I'll clean the circuit board inside and got it to a nice, you know, good kind of like clean position to what it started off as, really dusty and dirt and bits and pieces inside. You'll see all that in the video. Clean the controls up. Now these are awkward controls to get to, a little bit scratchy. You may have some controls that are scratchy and you may not feel like opening the amplifier up you know maybe just give it a go open it up uh, just have a quick look how easy it is to get to these pots now these were a little bit tricky these pots to get to and you may have some pots that are tricky to get to and you think oh i'm not going to be out of reach that's why i'm still going to show you i mean i'm not the first person to do this but just to show you some little bits of pipe you can kind of just buy for a pound or so attach it to the straw that comes with the cleaner and bend the pipe at the end and you can get some quite a few different angles positions and they're upside down all over the place make your life a little bit easier I think than trying to get to it and turning the unit upside down and you may have to take the circuit board out all that kind of stuff to get to these uh, pots because these ones are kind of like upside down so to speak where normally like the, you know the bit you want to get into the little gap is sticking out the top so you can just go in there straight away spray done these are kind of underneath where you've kind of got to get under and get this in position and spray upwards etc I'll show you that in the video anyway I've just shown you on this kind of cleaner, depending which cleaner you're using, you may have a, a cheap cleaner with like that. I've got a bit carried away here, but just to show you, you can add these kind of hoses and get quite a bit of length and positions, etc. A more expensive cleaner. So I'm just going to go through that with this video and hopefully you may be able to pick up a few little tips of how to clean your up, etc. So let's get on with it and see exactly what I did with this uh, little amplifier. Okay, so there it is, top down view. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see a lot of dust, grime, fibres, all that around the transistors, the heat sink and that. And there's a kind of side on view as well. So what we're going to do now is get like a medium kind of bristle brush and just go around and collect all the dust up in between all the nooks and crannies. So I put a medium amount of pressure on it, not too much, but just enough to lift off the dust. I'm trying to find a place in the middle of the board where I can bring the UV in without actually eating any of the... Uh, components on the ball now normally i've got um, like a brush adapter to this over but i just could not find it while doing this video so um i've kind of got this spouty thing so just be a bit careful so yeah just go around all the nooks and crannies uh getting the dust to a place where i can hoover it up in the middle of the amplifier somewhere in a little spot and uh yeah just keep going around really right what i'm going to do next though is i'm going to swap this uh, brush over here for a, a smaller uh finer bristle brush it's only half inch these are quite fine it's quite um it's you know it's got no hardness to it at all it's a very delicate kind of brush and i'm just going to go around and try and get in a little bit more nooks and crannies with this one uh knowing full well that if i catch any of the components any of these driver transistors or anything like that that they're not going to knock them over or damage them in any way just getting in there and it kind of goes underneath in between the resistors and that in between the fuses and just doing pretty much the same bringing it to the middle so we can over it up now what I've got is one of these kind of air dusters giving that a spray in there and that's going to hopefully blow out any loose bits of dust that I haven't been able to get to and get it out of the way and that's that completed there okay I want to get in a little bit of an awkward angle here uh, so I'll put the unit on its kind of like side-ish uh, transforming them towards the table so the most of the weight's towards the bottom holding it up so it's not top heavy we want to try and get in here with our straw this is the entry to the pot here We'll be cleaning all the pots, but just showing you one. And also entries to the pots here on the top on this particular pot. Not all pots have got this entry, but there's another little hole there you could probably get some spray in also with your straw. Now, I'm just showing you this particular cleaner here, contact cleaner with a, the straw that comes with it, just using a latex kind of hose in between and cutting a little bit of that straw off to use at the other end of the latex, bending it over about 90 degrees-ish. And as you can see, you can uh, move that about all over the place kind of thing this is the hose I use um, so yeah that's quite a good little hose not an expensive 199 and um, yeah if you use detox which I did here on the unit I've obviously got a bit carried away here but just showing you like you can make that hose obviously any length you want and with a straw from maybe a, a fruit juice or something like that or another straw that's come with one of these cleaners you can cut it there like that and bend it over and put it in the position the 90 degree position you want to get it at to get into one of these pots here so this is the pot there's me attempting it a bit of a blurry picture i'm afraid got a sharp one coming up soon and uh, there's me getting the kind of angle we want to get at and give it a spray to clean that pot so there you go that's the volume control on this particular unit and as you can see that's the kind of angle 
you want to be achieving. Right, here's me now. I'm going to show you the video of me actually doing this. Obviously, the camera angle is not going to be great at the moment, but I do swing it around so you can kind of get a drift of what I'm actually trying to do. So as we swing it around, you can see that's the kind of angle and position and you want to try and get that straw and the cleaner in. So then once we've done that, just clean the uh, select switch. Um, just give it a spray. Uh, 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 a position you can find you can get into the switch. is, is normally a position somewhere you can see you can probably get the spray in. What we're going to do is adjust the bias. There's a few little pins sticking up here, and these are marked up as TP1, TP3 for one channel, TP2, and TP4 for the other channel. And we want to read in the four millivolts. Now, what I do is I turn this amplifier on, it's got a pair of speakers connected, and I usually run it in for about 20 minutes, something like that, playing the music, kind of like medium kind of volume ish, somewhere around there, just so it eats up a little bit. So, as you can see, that's with it turned on. And now I'm going to come in and actually adjust that pop. Don't forget. It's been on for about 20 minutes now. I've disconnected the speakers and I'm going to adjust that pot for four millivolts. And I'm going to do the same to the other channel. Let's just get this channel sorted. So, yeah, if we make sure your amplifier is turned on for about 20 minutes, uh, play something there. And uh, once you've done that, then disconnect the speakers. Um, just put the amplifier volume back down to zero, and the input on this particular case is on CD. Uh, and then we're going to do the measurements and just to you know I usually print these out just to make sure I don't forget what the points are so I'm going to actually show you now connecting to point TP1 and TP3 the positive is TP1 and the negative is TP3 I use these crocodile clips on the meter it makes it so much easier than just having two prods trying to hold them in position and adjusting the pot at the same time just get a pair of crocodile clips and connect them up to your meter it makes the job much easier and uh, without shorting anything out or anything like that as you can see the meters on 200 uh, millivolts on the dc and uh, again i'll turn the amplifier on just to show you how it was when it was uh, cold so to speak and you'll see it quickly flick uh, to when it's been on for about 20 minutes with the speakers connected i was playing something then i've turned the volume back down disconnected the speakers now i'm going to do my adjustment as you can see it's crept up to 3.1 and i'm just going to turn that pot very gingerly very uh, carefully until it gets to near enough to bang on four that we can get and uh, as you can see it fluctuates a little bit so uh, we have to go back in there and just tinker around just a little bit more because some of these pots can be really really sensitive and some of them have got a bit of leeway on this one it isn't too bad so as we can go we're offering about 3.9 so we'll be happy with that so that's that done and the very last thing i've done here is just me it's just straighten up a resistor it was a little bit wonky and that's the amplifier all done. So I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.